hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now let's solve this problem it says that two forces are applied at point b of beam a b determine graphically the magnitude and direction of the result of their resultant using the parallelogram law and the triangle rule so since we want to find the resultant by the graphical method so we have to define our scale so let's say that uh, one kilonewton is let's say equal to two centimeter so let's say that this two kilonewton force is let's say f1 and that three kilonewton force is let's say f2 now f1 which is equal to two kilonewton so according to the scale if one kilonewton is two centimeter then two kilonewton is four centimeter and f2 which is three kilonewton so again according to the scale through kilonewton will be three times two so that is six centimeter or from this if i divide both sides of equation by two so then we will have one centimeter equal to 0 0.5 kilonewton so or one centimeter is 0 0.5 kilonewton so now we need to draw this f1 and f2 according to the scale 4 cm and 6 cm and according to these given angles using uh, our ruler and protractor. So first of all um, let me draw a horizontal line here and let me extend the line of action of this f2. So if this uh, f2 this f2 is making 60 degree here so it is going to make 60 degree angle here as well this is 60 and this ang this angle is 90 so this is 90 plus 60 is 150 so if this f2 is making 60 degree with the vertical it is going to make 150 degree angle with the positive x axis here. so let's say this is our positive x axis is. so f2 is making 150 degrees and similarly um if i extend the line of action of this f2 so if it is making 40 degree with the vertical let me extend this if it is making that 40 degree here if this angle is if this angle is 40 then this angle is 40 since both of these angles are vertical angles this is 40 so this is 90 so 90 minus 40 is 50 so it is going to make 50 degree with the positive axis So we need the angles with the positive x-axis since uh, my ruler is telling me the angle with the positive x-axis is always. So, so let me draw that uh, positive x and y-axis. So at zero degrees, I will have my I will have my positive x-axis, and at b, let's have the vertical line at ninety degrees. this is my positive x-axis and this is my positive y-axis now at b we need to draw f1 which is uh, 2 kilonewton and that is making 50 degree with the positive axis it is actually making 40 degrees but with the horizontal line or with the x-axis it is making 50 degrees so i need to orient my ruler at 50 degrees for so this is 49 50 and then the for f1 2 kilonewton the according to scale the line should be 4 centimeter so we need to draw a 4 centimeter line so 4 centimeter line this is my f1 let me place it here and let me measure it again this is 4 centimeter approximately so this is that f1 equal to 4 centimeter we need to draw the tails of both the forces at b and then we need to construct the parallelogram since we want to find the solution by using the parallelogram law and the triangle rule and these f1 and f2 must make the opposite sides of a parallelogram so let's draw f2 of 3 kilonewton which is equal to 6 centimeter according to the scale and f2 is making this 150 degree with the positive x-axis so we need to orient uh, our ruler 
at 150 degrees and then we need to draw a six centimeter line which will represent that f2 equals to three kilonewton and that is a uh, six centimeter so this is my f2 equals to three kilonewton and now we need to copy f1 let me copy this and we need to paste it here so this will this will make the opposite side of the parallelogram so we need to we need to put the tail of f1 on the head of f2 and similarly i need to copy uh, f2 and i need to put this f2 on the head of f1 so this is my f2 and now the resultant will be the force from the uh, the force from point b and that will act along the diagonal of this parallelogram so this will be the resultant like this now this is my result the length of this resultant in centimeter is this is approximately 6.6 .6 centimeters so the resultant is 6.6 .6 centimeter and as we know that one centimeter is 0 0.5 kilonewton so 6.6 .6 centimeter multiplied by 0 0.5 kilonewton so 6.6 .6 multiplied by 0 0.5 this gives me 3.30 so the resultant is equal to 3.30 kilonewton so the resultant is 3.30 kilonewton and if i orient my ruler parallel to the resultant so the resultant is making um, 113 degrees with the positive x-axis so this angle is 113 and we know that this angle is 90 so 113 minus 90 will give us this angle so 113 minus 90 this angle is 23 this is 23 So this means that the result is making 23 degrees with the vertical. So if this is 23, then this angle is 23. Since this angle and this angle, they are vertical angles. So now if this angle is 23, so this is, ni this is 90 degrees. So 90 minus 23, 90 minus 23 is 67. So the result is making 67 degrees with the positive x-axis and that is in the clockwise direction. So, so this is the angle of the resultant let's say theta this is 67 degrees so theta is equal to 67 degrees so now the resultant of f1 and f2 has a magnitude of uh, 3.30 kilonewton and it is making 67 degrees with the horizontal or with the positive x-axis and that angle is measured in the clockwise direction so we need to represent the angle like this so this is the solution of uh, this problem using the parallelogram method and the second uh, method is the triangle rule so triangle rule is derived from the parallelogram law as we can see that this parallelogram uh, which is constituted by the f1 and f2 the opposite side of this parallelogram or the f1 and f2 so if we consider this half of the parallelogram so that is going to make a triangle and this half of the parallelogram is also making that triangle and if we look into this f1 so this is f1 this line the length of this line is equal to f2 so f1 plus f2 and by head to tail rule f1 plus f2 will give us this resultant and this will make us that uh, triangle so we can repeat this method we can draw f1 let me draw the this is my positive x-axis and this is my positive y-axis and here we have that point b 
so now i need to copy that you people need to repeat it on your notebook so this is my f1 you need to just repeat that method of drawing f1 according to scale and according to that particular angle so this is my f1 equal to two kilonewton or four centimeter this is two kilonewton and then i need to draw that f2 and i need to put this f2 the tail of this f2 on the head of f1 so this is my f2 and now the resultant will be from the tail of f1 to the head of f2 so this will be my resultant like this so the resultant is from the tail of f1 to the head of f2 so this is my resultant and its length must be equal to that 6.6 .6 centimeter if 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 it is drawn according to the scale and accurately so let's measure the length of this resultant so it is again 6.6 .6 centimeter and it is also making that same 113 degree angle is indicated by the ruler so we will get that same result and so again by triangle rule we will get that same result and r is 3.30 kilonewton and it is making that uh, 67 degrees with the positive x axis in the clockwise direction so this is the uh, solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if this helps in your learning